Tony Day and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on No One Want Nobody Wants to Die, which is an awesome name for a video game. Part cyberpunk, part film noir, part the thirteenth floor, part time travel, part uh, I don't know, pretty much anything you could think of in that in that realm. New York twenty three twenty nine, and you've got a film noir detective uh, talking about I don't know time. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 13, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Uh, I, don't, I don't do a lot of video game trailer uh, analysis, but this one is very cinematic. So uh, it's got your hard-boiled detective, and he talks about dealing in secrets, and he's got the trench coat and the hat, and he's drinking booze. But then it's revealed he's got some sort of crazy device as part of his hand very cyberpunky and then about halfway through it kind of pulls back and you see that this guy i guess he's throwing dynamite i'm not sure what the hell he's doing but the whole place is going up he doesn't seem worried about it keeps drinking and uh seems to be moving slightly outside of time and then he activates the device and does one of these and then uh as this explosion starts happening, he winds back time, which is really cool. And then the explosion center apparently starts in this uh, weird-looking tree. And then there's something inside the tree. I don't know if it's an explosive or what. Then it also shows you the city. You can see that it's super futuristic, while at the same time there's tons of ruin in it. Uh, there's flying cars, but at the same time, old-timey uh, Art Deco kind of lettering and style, but blimps, but also flying cars, but women in these kinds of outfits, but also uh, this. I'm not sure what the heck is going on. A Statue of Liberty that's all messed up. And uh, I don't know, is that supposed to be a city? I'm not sure what that that's supposed to be. But it's it doesn't seem to be Ellis Island as we know it, so it's really interesting. I mean, they've got a lot of uh, a lot of elements going on here. And then he talks about being dragged to hell, and he looks at his own reflection in the bar, and then the reflection falls backwards and ah. so uh, yeah, it's called Nobody Wants to Die, and that is definitely a film noir-y type title. Uh, coming soon, 2024. Wish list it now. Totally. This game looks awesome. Whatever it is. I mean, the story looks awesome. I would see this as a movie. Absolutely, 100%. It's got a bit, a little bit of the fifth element. You know, with the layers of flying cars. You remember that? Bruce Willis driving the taxi. I would totally play this game. Absolutely. I would rather just watch this game, quite frankly. Let somebody else play it. Let somebody else do the work. I'll just enjoy the story. Because it seems like they put a lot of thought behind this. Um, you know, there's a lot of cliches. Don't, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of derivative stuff here. But it's the kind of derivative stuff I like. Right, Joan? What? You want to sit over here? You're a derivative, little dog. Uh, Hard-boiled detective, cyberpunk, Blade Runner... What else? Time travel. Oh, man. You got me on time travel. You do something with time travel, 90% of the time, I'm going to want to say it. So, if you can, like, manipulate time in the game, oh, yeah. Let's do some of that. Let's do some of that, doggy. You want to manipulate time? Hmm? We can go back to when you were a little puppy this big. I could hold you in one hand. One hand I held you. You were this big. Yeah, very tiny. Um, so yeah, coming 2024. So this year, I, I would, I would expect this Christmassy, Christmas kind of purchase, or maybe it's coming out soon if they're talking about 2024. PS5, looks like Xbox, Steam, so everybody's going to get in on this. 
I might actually have to buy a video game. Yeah, I'm going to give it a little up. It looks cool. Anyhow, it's called Nobody Wants to Die. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. And those takes are a lot longer, by the way. Usually go about an hour doing the news and Hollywood hot take. I can't do it here. Can't do it on YouTube anymore. No, no. They're too politically uh, correct for me. And, uh, oh, Joan, she's very spicy on those videos. Very spicy. You, you, you got a lot of problems, dog. Anyhow, uh, we'll be back with another video later. See you in the next one.